I had always been a bit of an oddball, but it wasn't until I started to eat my own skin on my fingers that anyone noticed. It started as an occasional nibble, an idle distraction, when I was bored or anxious. Soon enough, however, it became an instant habit. My family and friends were concerned, but I brushed them off and insisted that it was no big deal. When the skin started to break, however, my family knew they had to intervene. Jenna, honey, can you come in for a moment? We'd like to talk to you. <sighs> Jenna, I know it's hard, but we all care about you. And we want to help you. I know. I'm sorry. Jenna, can you tell us why you've been biting your fingers? It's a nervous habit. I don't, I don't know why I do it. Do you think it's something that's bothering you? Something that you can't figure out on your own? Maybe. Are you stressed? Is it something at school? A little, but it's nothing major. Honey, it doesn't matter if it's major or not. We all care about you. And we want to help you. We love you. We want to help any way we can. Thank you, Mom. That same day, my parents took me to therapy. Hi, Jenna. So, how have you been feeling lately? Hi. I've been worried about biting my skin obsessively. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I keep biting my fingers. How long has this been going on? It's been off and on, but lately it's been getting worse. And what are some of the triggers that make you bite your skin? I'm not sure. I'm always thinking about it, and I can't help myself. Mm. Can you tell me what it feels like when you do it? It's hard to explain. It's kind of like an urge I can't control. It's almost like a compulsion. Okay. And how has it been affecting your life? It's taken a toll on my self-esteem. I feel like I can't control it. I, it's just a lot and I think talking to you is very helpful and to find some coping strategies to help situation I'd like to be able to control it better and have a sense of controlling my life again. Well, Jenna, you're suffering from dermatophagia. It's a compulsive disorder where an individual eats, bites, or picks at their own skin. Especially around the fingers. These look something like yours. With dermatophagia, you're more susceptible to infection and could even possibly die from it. My therapist diagnosed me with dermatophagia. I was embarrassed, but eventually accepted my diagnosis and began treatment. I learned to control my urges and focused on healthier coping strategies. I covered the affected areas with bandages or gloves to reduce access to the skin. I kept my fingers busy drawing or painting. I fidget with toys or stress balls to replace the skin eating. I even started engaging in stress reducing activities such as yoga or meditation to help manage anxiety and stress. It took a lot of effort, but I am proud to say that I am free from my skin eating disorder. If you are struggling with this skin eating disorder, remember, that you can take control and find a way to manage it.